Hello, Internet. This is you and Spence and ESC Insight calling with a welcome back to our old friend, the orchestra. Coming up, the weekend results are in. Who's singing on home soil this year? And Rotterdam 2020 as a fashion director. Yes, as always, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. I'm Ewan Spence with your Insight News for the week. Lots going on in the world of the Song Contest National Final results. Uh, We are on a pace which now sees something happening every weekend right through to the heads of delegation meeting. Then I think you get a week or two off and then we're right into the previews and the parties as well. And after that, we're at the contest and we have our winner for 2020. But we're going to tell the story of that now. And we'll start off with news from Geneva and Rotterdam and the EBU. Look, you know the date's now, 12th, 14th, uh, for the semi-final, 16th for the grand final. Watch out for the hotel prices. Make sure you buy your tickets from the official places or the official reseller. And the next wave of tickets goes on sale on the 30th of January. Uh, there will be another batch at some point in mid-March when the final props and camera angles are known. Main news from the show here in terms of the backstage stuff. Fashion designer for the semi-final and grand final interval acts has been announced as Jake Potthoven. He'll be responsible for the look and feel of the dancers and the artists in the special acts they're being called so not necessarily right at halftime but the opening bits and pieces uh, throughout the show as well and that will be in the two semi-finals and the grand final according to the official website the grand final will also have a special performance from an orchestra put together especially for the show musical director Eric Van Tien will be starting the auditions from February to bring in young people from across the country and showcase their talents to the world now this is in the grand final But it's not there to replace playback. So this isn't the orchestra returning for the 26 songs that make it through. This is the orchestra as part of the entertainment. Just to be clear on that, when you hear the words, the orchestra is back. It's almost, uh, but not quite. Much like how Vienna had the orchestra opening up from the Vienna Philharmonic, but not actually orchestrating any of the music. Also, just a marker for Junior Eurovision 2020. Krakow councillors have passed their motion to say um, that uh, they support their city's bid to host Junior Eurovision this year. Although we should note that the EBU has not awarded uh, the country where it's going to go, so TV people don't necessarily know if they're hosting it or not. And even if that were to be the case, there hasn't been any notice of any bidding proposed or anything. It's pretty much just Krakow Council just putting a marker down so we will watch that from the sidelines as the story of junior vision uh, continues but at the moment it's just quietly bubbling over it's the adult contest that is heating up Okay, three results of note uh, from the last seven days. The first one is the internal selection for the Netherlands. Avril Trolls and EBU have announced that the honour of representing the Netherlands on home soil in 2020 will go to Zhang Yu Makrui. The Surinamese-born soul singer has released two studio albums plus a live album and is a popular musical desk guest on Dutch TV shows The World Keeps On Turning. So it's going to be released at a later date, but we have another name to add to the ever growing roster. And of course, once you're nominated to represent your country, you'll be on our Spotify playlist uh, as we look back at the discography of everybody who will be singing for their countries. We'll have a link to that back in the show notes at esinsight.com. Okay, in terms of competitor results, we have two semi finals Norway and Lithuania. Let's start with Lithuania. LRT have uh, renamed the show. Google Translate brings it through as Let's Try Again, uh, but uh, officially, it's like we go again uh, so it's a little bit more heartening and promising than it first sounds qualifying from the first heat uh, for the next round of heats which will effectively be uh, the semi-final uh, we have and I've got little notes here to remind you which song is which here Monica Maria as if I leave that's the country one Baltos Varnos uh, the one with the scary twins me and I singing drip the one with the blue pants uh, Gabrielle Svegelis uh, with the one with the pajamas and Vic why 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 it's the one that goes why 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 and Petunia's Shoya is the one that makes Lithuania famous. Six qualify, 12 ran. Over in Norway, semi finals for MGP. It's a duel against a duel, which brings you through to the golden duel and one person going forward from the show. Rayleigh's Wild was the qualifier from this show, beating out Lissa Borat in the golden duel. 
for RAN. It's worth also flagging up here, there was a little bit of fan discussion over the opening of Wild, uh, being similar to other hit tracks, such as Nymphomaniac by Russian singer Montichoka, which itself sounds like Nostalgia by Finnish singer Evelina. Look, there's always going to be plagiarism popping up in the discussions in the fan community at this time of year we've got 10,000 songs submitted you've got about 800 make it through to the televised rounds what's more likely happened here is that this opening is a sample that you can buy commercially the license for and most people will get the license on a non-exclusive basis drop that into the uh, mixing desk and play around with it that way you can buy samples exclusively that stops other people using them but here this is just an example of how the industry works nowadays everybody's bought the same non exclusive sample to use in an original song. Okay, news from around the other countries that are entering the song contest this year. Starting with Belarus, uh, we have more details on their selection processes. Submissions are going to close on the 17th of January, so you've got till the end of the week. National focus groups will then select those going forward to a closed audition process, and that will give us at uh, 12 names, um, which will be announced on the 22nd of January, and those 12 will go forward to the televised national final. Over in the Czech Republic, after teasing us with uh, information on everything about the artists, from their shoe sizes, number of concerts held, favourite superpower, preferred origami finger, we actually have the names from Czech television. We have seven acts in the running to represent the country in Rotterdam. Two returning artists from previous national finals, Maria Machua and Pam Rabbit. They'll be joined by Olga Lunova, Ben Christoveo, Karel, uh, the duet of Elis Maraz and Sis T and the intriguingly named We All Poop. Songs will be released. I mean, it's not as good as Tactical Nuclear Penguin over in Italy, but it's getting there. Songs will be released next week on January the 20th. You can vote using the Eurovision.tv app until February the 2nd and the winner will be announced the next day on February the 3rd. Artist names over in Finland for their one-shot UMK show on Saturday, March the 7th, are going to be announced on Tuesday, January the 21st. We're expecting six, but we have a confirmed 426 applicants for that. Show's going to be March the 7th and hosted once more by Krista Siegfrieds and Mika Silvanainen. Iceland has more details as well. Ten artists and their songs will be announced on January the 18th uh, with a special reveal show from the broadcast. The usual format applies. There'll be two semi-finals with five songs each, from which two songs progress from each, and they'll be joined by a wild card from the non-qualified songs to give a five-song grand final. That non-qualifier is selected by RUV, and the five songs will all compete on February the 29th. As in previous years, songs will be in Icelandic for the semi-finals, and artists can choose to sing in another language, but it must be the version of the song they're going to take to Eurovision in the grand final. Israel's the next star for Eurovision has been going on for ever um, and, but the date of the grand final has been set it's the 4th of February this will select the artist but not the song previous years it's, the song has been an internal selection but for 2020 there will be public voting on the song at a later date Italy uh, getting everything ready for San Remo but of course songs and everything are in lockdown uh, press don't hear them until like, the Monday and then the first live show is a Tuesday where the public get to hear the songs but before that on February the 3rd there's going to be a gala celebration this is the 17th year of San Remo after all um, that's going to be taking place about a five minute walk from the current venue of the Aristotle Theatre uh, down at the San Remo Casino which is literally just like it's on the same road um, and that of course was the location of the first couple of San Remos as well and that'll be broadcast on RAI here's hoping that it will be either ungeolocked um, or there'll be a way for us to watch outside of Italy on the website Latvia, Magical Smorgasbord that is Supernova Longlist was released via the LTV Supernova YouTube channel uh, at the end of last week. Uh, we have some perennial names that you always expect to see here, so Marcus Reeve is in there, Agnes Krellis is in there, Samantha Tina is back along, uh, we have the cellist uh, Madra and Katrina Demanta, um, who you might remember as the violinist from Cake to Bake um, and trust me, Samantha Tina remembers Cake to Bake uh, are all in the mix. Now, you don't actually get a chance to vote on the long list the jury is going to be selecting eight of the 26 songs that will go forward to a one-shot televised grand final uh, but you can't help make the jury make up their mind by liking favoriting comment on the youtube channel etc etc boom 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 norway <laughs> we've already got the results but the sheer scale of norway's anniversary melody grand prix means that for the next month there's going to be two song reveals 
every week every monday we will announce the artists uh we well i suppose we're announcing on the podcast as well so anna k are going to announce the artists uh, on monday that will be competing in the semi-finals will be four announced songs will also be available on the website and via spotify on friday the pre-qualified finalists that will be performing in that semi-final will be announced and their song will be released as well because they're going to act as the interval act on the Saturday show. We've already started to get the rhythm. You feel it again this week and getting on. Also, we've already heard the results uh, from the Southern Norway Heat semi-final one, uh, but uh, we didn't tell you who was uh, happening in terms of going as a direct through to the final. at Sondre and the song is Take My Time. We don't actually, of course, record on the Friday, but if you subscribe to the ACN newsletter where we're going to be previewing the national finals every week uh, you'll get the details there again we'll have a link back at the website and on the show notes on this one okay so uh for same final two which is the eastern norway heat uh we have jaeger's song how about march it's a bit ailish ish ailish that's going to cause me problems if it gets to you a musical theater duet fool for love is going to be sung by kim Vigard and miriam mon with viking schlager one last time from ryan alexander uh, and a little bit of bossa nova comes from tor peterson and his song the start of something all four will run this saturday uh, one will qualify through to the final uh, Portugal Festival de Cancel composers were announced uh, back in 2019 but this week on the 15th we will get the songs presenters the venues and the rest of the details of the Portuguese Song Festival which helps select their song for Eurovision Serbia uh, see we're getting busier this time of year Serbia uh, 24 acts are going to be vying for the Beovizia title we've got a few familiar names uh, in the announcement the uh, girl group Hurricane uh, featuring Serbia's 2016 entrant Sanja Vizic uh, long click Montenegro and backing singer Ksenia Kinevich uh, who supported her father Kinez in Adieu uh, back in 2015 they're going to be singing Hasta La Vista uh, which I think has been a Eurovision title before but there we go it's a completely different song September 1st rule of the year before another notable name on the list is Neda Ukredan who's been releasing music since 1969 took part in the national final for Yugoslavia in 81 and 86 so we you know going a fair bit back there two other singers uh, in there um Anna Milenkovic and Siana Bogsevevic uh, who were members of Beauty Queens the group that did the backing vocals for Malalitha uh, and in terms of songwriters uh, North Macedonian entrant Daniel Kentrimoski uh, from 2015 has written the music for Igor Simic uh, we're still waiting on confirmation on dates but we're expecting a pair of semi-finals to bring the pack down to the grand final uh, possibly all in the same week as well uh, in late February Slovenia, EMA Fresh online competition and radio competition which will provide two of the contestants for EMA proper moved up a gear with the release of snippets from the remaining contestants and there's going to be a televised final for EMA Fresh on January the 18th jury is going to select one qualifier Televote will select the other these artists then take everything about the goodwill the publicity and basically their increased uh, visible position on social media into the ema proper which is february the 22nd uh, we'll finish up with sweden uh, the melody festival and running order has been announced uh, all 20 acts are now programmed over the four semi-finals uh, let's just pick out the openers and closers which you would expect by the val parnell rules of running orders are the big name to get people watching and the big name to keep people engaged right through to the end of the running order so semi-final one opens up with the mamas who are the backing singers previously from sweden and closes with felix sandman semi-final two kiara haberstrom uh, opens up and anna bergendahl closes semi-final three is mariette opening and mohombi closing and semi-final four has frida orn opening and hannah fern closing you got to assume that a fair number of those names are going to be in the mix uh, when we get to the friends arena uh, but of course there's a long way to go six weeks before we hit that as well <laughs> In terms of ESC Insight, keep an eye on our Twitter and Facebook accounts. We're surfacing up some previous articles that look in detail to certain parts of the contest when they become relevant. For example, you would have seen this weekend we talked about um, how Norway and MGP has been shaping uh, their entrance into the song contest and working as a televised show. Now, 
Ben Robertson was over there at MGP a year or two ago, but it's still relevant now. So we're going to keep popping those up on our social media accounts, twitter.com slash ESCinsight, facebook.com slash ESCinsight, and the main website as well. Uh, we had a Eurovision castaways last week as well, uh, with Connie McLeod from Quark Alba, uh, rep- uh, talking about, let's see, representing Scotland at the Eurovision Song Contest and terrible mullets from the 80s, a delightful story um, about our favourite Russian composer uh, and of course his eight records that he'd like to bring onto the eel the Besant Zone and his luxury as well. It's in the podcast stream uh, so just check back on that one and we're putting together another stream so we've got all of Castaways available as an archive for you. That should be live in the next week or two as well. Um, also of course already mentioned here's the newsletter. Make sure you sign up for us at esinsight.com every Friday John Lucas will be giving you a preview of that week's shows and a couple of other goodies as well. Okay, quick check on the diary before we call up the guitars. Uh, Today, uh, on Monday as we're recording, Norway's second semi-final guests and uh, artists were announced. Submissions close in Poland, so if you're looking to get a Polish song in, you've missed it. And we have the Czech artists announced as well. Voting opens on the 20th this time next week. Uh, Wednesday, we'll see the song reveals for Portugal. Uh, This Saturday coming up, we have the announcement of the Icelandic artists and songs of the second semi-final from Norway and... And we have the EMA Fresh, the Newcomers Contest, over in Slovenia. Day after that, Sunday is the second live show on X Factor Malta. Um, depending on how that long lungs, I still haven't measured which is longer, Malta or Israel. But we'll, we'll work that out by the time we get to the, the finals of both of them, whenever they happen. And Monday next week, of course, uh, we have the voting opening up for check and the uh, third semi-final acts announced for Norway um, also we'll just flag up the new party pa- party in Glasgow it's committee room number 9 from 8pm on 24th of January the nearly but not quite competition for the best song that finished in 11th place in recent semi-finals as well as disco taking through till 3 o'clock in the morning links back to buy your tickets on the SC Insight website and our show notes here later on in the year Eurovision and concert on 4th of April pre-party Spain 10th and 11th of April and we finally have a date for London's Eurovision party. It's going to be March the 29th at the traditional Caf de Paris venue. Currently, this is the opening party of the preview season. Uh, but we do have a word of warning for those travelling into London by train. Network Rail has announced there will be significant engineering works that weekend, the Saturday and the Sunday. So if you're going to be travelling by train, check the National Rail Inquiries line and website to make sure that you're on the right train or not being cancelled or if there are other alternative methods linked to all of those parties are back on the website as well well thanks for that uh things are holding up uh over the weekend so we'll keep you up to date every week with the insight news podcast myself at ewan spence and the rest of the team at escinsight.com thanks very much for listening same time same card same schlager same everything next week after the guitars <laughs> The SC Insight News podcast this week was hosted by Ewan Spence, written by Ewan Spence, Samantha Ross and Ellie Chalkley.